Hello you guys, welcome to Prayer Entertainment. Today I am going to be showing you guys the ColorCon lip gloss from Wet n Wild. And this color is in Scorpio. So you guys, they have a Zodiac collection. And um, I did take a really good look at it. And um, I only found two shades that would actually probably fit um, my complexion. They didn't have all of the Zodiac collection. They only had about six of them. But two out of the six would actually fit my collection. And um, that was the Scorpio and Aries from that collection. However, I did not get the Aries because it was like a very like dark matte mauve color and um i just thought it was it was too dark and vampy and goth for the spring look <coughs> excuse me so i didn't purchase that one i wanted to stay light for the spring so for all you vegans out there this one is cruelty free as you can see, cruelty free right there. So I've taken the wrapper off. This is what the top looks like. There's like a little M for the Scorpio symbol. And here is um, like a good look at it, a good look at the color. It's like a really pretty frosted purple I kind of want to say almost like a lilac a lilac purple um, I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand show you guys um, so the consistency it is um, it's very smooth it has a very smooth and sheer consistency as you can see, it's still a little bit of sheer there. And I'm just gonna actually just put this over the color that I already have on. And um, too much of it did not come off onto the brush. And that is how it looks over the lip stain that I already had on. Now, the reason why I put it over the lip stain that I already had on was because, um, as you can see, it's, it's kind of sheery. And I didn't want to put it on and it actually just be translucent. So um, I actually wanted to just give it some pop. Yeah, I actually just wanted to give it some pop just to, you know, see what it looked like with the primer up under it. Um, but you guys will see me wear it bare without the lip stain up under it. Probably when I try on the foundation, I will um, try this on bare as well. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an up close look at it. But as you can see on my hand that it's it contrasts my skin tone so i'm glad that i picked this color and not the aries because um it would have been just way too dark but yes you girls if you're my skin complexion you go ahead and try out this look and let everybody see what it's made of I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've purchased from Maybelline Zodiac Collection. 
which one you purchased. Let me know if it was a hit or miss. Let me know if you still use it. Just let me know something, you guys. I love to interact with you all. There is no stupid question. There is no stupid comment on my channel. So just leave something. Like, comment, subscribe, you guys. I have a ton of good more things coming in on the way. Um, you guys have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.